Welcome to this 30 minute strength workout. This is an interval workout in two rounds. We'll begin with a five minute warm up. Rolling the shoulders back and down and taking some deep breaths, grounding the feet. Feel a little softness in the knees. A few more shoulder rolls. And then a neck roll, side to side, ear to shoulder and then chin to chest. Allow the head to roll side to side in easy ways. Continue to breathe. Begin to feel some connection through the abdomen, firming through the low belly. Side lunges are next. Stepping out wide and bending into one knee and then bend into the opposite knee. Maybe sweeping the arms overhead in the center, alternating side lunges. A few more side to side. Full body warm up, arms and lower body going. Come to a wide squat and then roll one shoulder center. Alternate, twisting through the upper body in this wide leg squat. Maybe looking up over your back shoulder. Feeling some opening in the spine and through the lower body. Standing cat and cow. Round up through the spine, hands supported on the legs, and then arch through the spine. Alternate rounding through the spine and then arching through the spine, hands supporting on the tops of the legs. A few more here. Feeling that connection through the core. Heel lifts are next. Stretch the arms wide and wrap in a hug as the back heel lifts and lowers. Alternate which arm wraps on top as you lift and lower the heel. Stretch the arms out wide to a T-shape. Inhales and exhales here. Waking up the lower leg, ankle, foot. Switching side, lunge position. This time the arms stretch overhead and then down and back as the back heel lifts and lowers. Arms stretch high overhead and then stretch back behind you. Shoulder flexion, shoulder extension. Waking up through the opposite ankle and foot. And rolling the shoulders a few times, coming center. Getting the heart rate up, preparing for our workout. Squat position and sitting back and down. Moving at your own pace. Hands could be at the heart center space or any other place of comfort as we lift and lower in this squat position. You might add some arms, pressing the arms up as you stand and drawing the arms back down to the shoulders as you squat back. Just a little full body action here getting the heart rate and body going. Coming back to those side lunges, arms stretch overhead in between. And then a few shoulder rolls we're setting up, getting ready for our first interval. If you'd like, grabbing a weight, coming into a wide squat position. Sitting back to a squat, stand, add a heel lift, ground, and then the arms press overhead, squat, heel lift, arm press. Keep moving at your own pace here. Moving through that whole series. Squat, heel lift, and press overhead. A few more rounds here.
Keep breathing. We're transitioning. You might find a chair or a wall for some balance support here. We're moving into a single leg deadlift. Weight is optional for this row. You might grab a weight in one hand. Weight in outside hand, balancing on your outside leg, and the leg closest to the wall or chair lifts away behind you. Hinge forward at the hips, row, and then come back up to standing with control. Firming through the abdomen, feeling that transverse abdominus engage as you continue to hinge forward, row, and then come back to standing. Standing leg is long and active, but the knee is not locked out. Maybe a micro bend in that standing knee. Continue to work at your own pace here. Transitioning to the second side. Weight in the outside arm, balancing on the outside leg. The leg closest to the chair or wall stretches back behind you. Hinge at the waist, row, and then come back to standing. Hinge at the waist, row, and back to a tall standing position. Continue to work through breathing here. Single leg deadlift and a row at the bottom. Find that connection through the core. Long active standing leg, but not locked out. Maybe a micro bend in that standing leg. Next up, we're heading to the floor. Setting up for a close arm push-up and a T-lift. Press in that push-up, come down to your belly, arm stretch to a T, and then lift the chest away. Press up, lower, arm stretch, and lift the heart away. Push-up and T-lift. Continue to breathe through, moving at your own pace. Arms hugging close by the body, as is comfortable. Continue to breathe and work. Push up and T lift. Next up, heading to a bridge and an oblique twist crunch. You might use a weight if you like for some additional resistance. Lying on your back, feet grounded, press the hips skyward, ground down, and then twisting, reaching to one side, and crunch twist to the second side. Grounding back down, press the hips skyward bridge, and crunch twist, first side, and then second side. Continue to work bridge, and then a twist crunch, right and left. Keep breathing, moving at your own pace. transitioning now to a side plank series. So setting up on your elbow or on your hand. Find a side plank position, grounding through the top leg. And the bottom leg can stretch forward in front of you and lift and lower. Holding the side plank as the bottom leg floats or a sense of floating away from the earth. Keep working here, keep breathing. And 
and then coming down to a side lying position. We're setting up next for some external leg lifts here. Stack the hips, knees and ankles, rest your head on your bottom arm, and then lift the top leg, press the leg down, lift the top leg, press down. Try to keep the hips stacked even as you lift and lower the top leg. Feel the outside of the hip engaging. Continue to breathe here, working at your own pace. A few more leg lifts lying on one side. Top leg floats up and presses down. Setting up for the second side. Side plank on the opposite arm, grounding the elbow or hand. Grounding the top foot, bottom leg stretches forward, and then lift and lower the bottom leg. We'll find a sense of float in that bottom leg. Second side always feels a little more challenging. Continue to breathe here and move at your own pace. Find your breath. Take a break when you need. You might come down to the knees or you could also bend your bottom leg, bring it underneath you and lift and lower the knee away as an alternative. We made it through second side. We're coming down to the side for that outside leg lift here, stacking hips, knees, and ankles. Lift and lower the top leg. Squeezing the top of the thigh, the hip. Feeling that work in the gluteus medius on the side top of the hip. Continue to breathe here. Doing your best to keep hips stacked even as you lift and lower the top leg. A few more at your own pace. last exercise in round one. Have a chair handy and set it up underneath your pull-up bar. Place the feet on the chair and bring it underneath you so you can stand to a full pull-up top of position and then slowly lower down with resistance. So the work here is on the way down rather than the way up. So use your legs underneath you to pull up and then slowly lower down with challenge. A few more inhales and exhales. Slowly lowering down with resistance and using the legs to press yourself up to the top of the pull-up position. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you could also use a resistance band to do a wide arm pull-down. Great, round one is done. We're ready for round two. Starting with squat, heel lift, and press. Grab a weight if you like, and let's get started. Squat, stand, heel raise, and then press the arms overhead. Squat to stand, heel lift, and arms press overhead. Keep working at your own pace. Just a few more here. Now 
Nice work. We're ready for our next exercise. Grab a wall or a chair for balance. A weight if you like. We're setting up for that single leg deadlift with a row. Hinge forward at the waist, row the arm, and come back to standing. Hinge forward, row, and return to standing. Keep moving at your own pace and breath. Nice work, you got this. Setting up for second side. Deadlift and rows on the other arm. Once again, hinging forward at the waist, row, and then come back to standing. Hinge at the waist, deadlift, row, and back to standing. Keep moving. Use your breath and move at your own pace. Great job. Keep up the work. We're heading down to the mat now. Push up and a T lift are next. You might choose a wide arm position for this round of push ups. Push up and T lift. Press back to the top of your push-up, lower. T-lift at the bottom, press back up. Keep moving at your own pace, push-up and T-lift. Great job. Our bridge and oblique twist crunch are next. Coming to the back, knees bent, feet grounded. First, press the hips skyward to a bridge, lower down, and then a twist crunch, right and left. Coming center, press the hips to a bridge, lower down, then a twist crunch, right and left. Continue to move with your own breath bridge and then twist first side second side just a little bit longer Great job, we're transitioning. Next up, it's a side plank with that bottom leg lift. You might choose the hand or elbow. This time, I'm choosing a variation where my knee is bent underneath me and I lift and lower the knee away. Move at your own pace, grounding through the top foot and keep breathing. You got this. Nice work. Coming down to the side. We're setting up for that outer leg lift. Stack 
Walking hips, knees, and ankles. Top leg, this time circling forward up. Here we go, forward up, back and down, and then back, forward and up, circling forward and back with this outer leg lift. Circling forward, up and back, and then circling back, forward and down. Forward, up and back, back, up, forward and down. Alternating circle direction. Continue to breathe and work. Circling the leg forward, circling the leg back. Great work. We're headed to second side. It'll be a side plank. This time, taking the bent knee variation if you like. Side plank on hand or elbow top foot crowns. In this case, my bottom knee is bent and I'll lift and lower with the knee underneath me. Bottom leg lifting away. So our last round here, you're probably feeling tired. You're doing a really great job. Keep breathing. Move at your own pace. Pause when a break is needed. Nice work. We're ready to set up for that outer hip lift. This time it'll be a circle forward and up, back and down, and then reversing the circle. Inhale forward up, back and down, and return the circle, inhaling and exhaling. Alternating circle directions, and feeling that work through the outer hip. You're doing great. Keep up the work. Just a few more. Great job. Last exercise in round two. It's that slow lower in the pull-up. Finding that chair underneath you, under the pull-up bar. Feet grounding on the chair. Start in the top of a push-up position and then lower with resistance. Use your legs to press to the top and then lower slowly with resistance. Keep going with that slow pull-up lower at your own pace here. We're headed to a cool down next. Just a few more pull up lowers. Nice work. We are ready for our cool down. Starting with a gentle shoulder roll and some wrist circles. Rolling one shoulder back and then the other. And then maybe coming to a little wider stance. Some small, slow, gentle side lunges. Arms by the sides this time to allow the heart rate to gently slow down. We do a slow side lunge, side to side. Great, coming back to standing. Maybe a few shoulder rolls here. 
headed to that lunge with a heel lift. A pretty short lunge here. Hands stay down by the sides. Just a gentle lift and lower through the back heel. Take it slow. Allow the breath and heart rate to come down. And we'll switch sides. Lunge on the opposite side. Short lunge here, not working too hard. Lift and lower the back heel. Let this be a slow pace. One that helps your heart rate slow down. Great, coming back to center. We'll do some standing cat cows. Gentle rounding through the spine. And then a gentle arch through the spine. Take a few at your own pace. and breath. A few more standing cat cows here. And coming to standing. Maybe a few alternate shoulder rolls here. And come to a wide leg squat for an alternate twist. One shoulder drop center, and then switch sides. Looking up over the top shoulder, if that feels good. Just a few more slow twists in the center, right and left here. Okay, coming to standing. Maybe a few more shoulder rolls here. And if your heart rate still feels pretty high, you could take a little walk around your space. As you roll the shoulders. We'll take a few more stretches. In just a moment. Right, interlacing the fingers, pressing the hands forward, feeling space between the shoulder blades and the upper spine. Take a few deep breaths here. And releasing out, interlacing at the low back, dropping the knuckles down toward the floor and lifting the hands away from the body, feeling a stretch through the front of the chest and shoulder. Releasing the hands. Taking a hamstring stretch, stretching one leg forward, sitting back into the opposite leg, feeling a stretch through the back of the upper leg, hamstrings. Take a few breaths here. And switching sides, extending the opposite leg forward and sitting back Stretching through the back of the upper leg. Quadricep stretch is next. Hand on the wall or a chair for support. Grab one ankle, bending the knee, feeling a stretch through the front of the upper leg. switching sides. Grabbing the foot or ankle, knee bent behind you. Stretching through the front of the upper leg. Then 
Okay, maybe a few shoulder rolls and shaking the hands and wrists out a little bit to close our workout. Nice job today. Thanks for the great workout.